This is a guided reading for physics, uh, chapter 4, section 3. You will need your textbook, so go ahead and turn to page 102. And before you start to read, uh, just a quick couple reminders. Uh, this section, interaction forces, uh, or also sometimes uh, phrased uh, action-reaction pairs or interaction pairs, has everything to do with that idea that when you push on the wall, the wall pushes back on you. Those forces go on separate free by diagrams. The force of you on the wall goes on the free by diagram for the wall. The force of the wall on you goes on the free by diagram for you. Uh, so keep that in mind, and I don't want you to get confused. So before you start to read, take a look at figure 4.11 on page 102. Uh, that is not a free by diagram. They're just showing you the direction of the forces. So please don't think that that is actually a free by diagram. Because if you notice, one of them says on B. I'm looking at the two blue arrows. And the other one says on A. Those are actually forces that would go on two separate free body diagrams. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and read uh, page 102 and page 103. And then come on back. All right. Welcome back. Uh, you will get several examples in class as well of interaction pairs. Uh, but you are responsible for that for on the first test, so make sure you understand fully what's going on there. Now, take a look at page 105. And on page 105, it says force of ropes and strings. You do not need to read this section, okay? But there is one thing you need to know about, and that's tension. The tension is simply the force of the rope on whatever object it is, and it's the same everywhere. So don't get fooled by the word tension. Tension is just a force and it's due to a rope. As simple as that. Uh, we won't have anything ever more complicated than that uh, in physics or AP physics. It, it is just the force of the rope. And to get the direction of the tension or the force of the rope, you simply look at which way the rope is oriented. So if the rope is up down, the force of the rope has to be either up or down. If the, fo if the rope is oriented left, right, or horizontally, the force of the rope has to be left or right. And if it's at an angle, it's got to be directed along whatever direction it's in or whatever angle it's at. Uh, so ropes are fairly straightforward. Uh, and if a problem ever asks you to solve for tension, simply think I'm solving for the force of the rope. All right. Take a look at page 104, example problem 3. And I just want to show you a picture. This is something we will probably talked about in class. But on the right side of example problem 3, you'll see a picture of the earth and a picture of the softball. If you were to draw a free body diagram for the softball, it'd be earth on the ball down, which means, yes, the softball does exert a force on the earth upward. So there's a free body diagram for the earth there. Right below it says ball on earth up. Those forces are equal in magnitude but opposite direction. They go in two separate free body diagrams. But you might be asking yourself, when I drop something, why don't I see the earth move up? Well, there's a big difference in mass of the earth. So given the same force and a whole lot more mass, Okay, F equals MA is what I'm using right now. Given the same force with a whole lot more mass, you're going to see a whole lot less acceleration. Uh, so much less that you can't observe it. Okay, now take a look at page 107 and read about the normal force. After the first test, you'll be able to abbreviate it like they do of F sub N. Uh, but look over that um, and remember that it is a uh, perpendicular contact force. Uh, so it's got to be perpendicular to the surface read uh, page 107. That's it for the guided reading on chapter 4, section 3. Thank you.